please give a warm welcome to Alan. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Alan. I'm now working for TU360 in Beijing. And today, I'm so glad to be here to present a quick talk about cryptographic backdoor in OpenSSL. And I'll show you how to build a backdoor in OpenSSL. So before the presentation, I'd like to introduce ourselves briefly. The idea of this presentation was conceived by two people, Slay and me. And Slay is the main implementer of this idea. It's not only my it's not only my colleague who is a keeper of mathematics, but also a viability hunter in the Intel CPU architecture kernel and OpenSSL. And now he has found um, about 10, 10 OpenSSL viability, including the SSL death alerts. And this is the picture of our team's office. Is it cool? So without further ado, let's look at our line of this topic. In the first part, I will introduce the cryptographic paradox and something about the architecture of the open access source code. In the second part, I will show you how to build a new method of cryptographic paradox in open access And then I will show you two demos. In the first part, we think this type of battle can be used in supply chain attack scenarios. So firstly, as we all know, the most common example of a cryptographic battle is using weak random, such as dual EC, DRPG, and through random number generator. However, it's rare to notice that there's another kind of battle which is called the battle of mathematics. And security, are you really looking for the um, liabilities in, in, in cryptographic implementation instead of paying more attention to mathematics paradox? Maybe because fighting a uh, mathematics paradox needs a high level mathematics skill. In fact, uh, General developers do not have the same level mathematical skills as the deniers of mathematical paradox. So it is hard to detect the mathematical paradox that is well designed, well structured, and logical. And you know, OpenSSL is the rapster and full featured toolkit for the TRS and SSL protocols. So let's uh, do a little dig into the architecture of uh, OpenSSL source code. The OpenSSL te technology framework is mainly composed of three parts, BIO, EVP, and SSSL. The source code is mainly encrypted, engine, SSL3 directories, directories. And the application layer in the Apple's directory the most, the most important things are crypto and SSL. The directory of uh, crypto include, includes ASN1 code interface, pseudo random number generator, engine mechanism, EVP cipher algorithm interface of a, of a unified cryptographic algorithm, large number operation interface, private key information syntax, Asymmetric uh, cryptographic uh, algorithm, and it is sort of. On the other hand, the directory of SSL is the implementation of SSL TR protocol. And today I will build uh, a bad dog in RSA algorithm, because RSA algorithm is, is quite clear. I firstly select the two prime numbers P and Q and computing N. And after that, we can get a public key and a private key. The second step is the encryption. We can get a ciphertext C. And finally, after the decryption, we can get a plain text M. So let's see a simple bad dog in IC algorithm. 
in a key generation algorithm of ISA, it's easy to learn from several security papers that the difference between two primes lambda in ISA should not be too small. Otherwise, you will be unsafe. But this definition is too vague. In particular, general developers could hardly know how small it is will be in security, as well as how much in security is there for a given difference. Therefore, we can think uh, the security as a reason of uh, adding check passion to check, check pa patch to the uh, key generation faction, I say generate the key in the open SSL, and force it to give an uh, uh, unsafe prime time. Moreover, it's even possible to set uh, the time complexity during which we can crack the private key as we wish. So let's uh, see the evil patch. In this patch, by limiting the range of uh, generated prime difference, we can crack uh, the private key as we in whatever time complexity. The picture it's look too small, too, too small, and I will upload uh, this example to the GitHub in the later. So let's uh, look at another complicated example. Imagine that we can patch a faster prime generation algorithm in order to generate primers with special defects and the special fake mathematical principles. Equally, we are able to control the difficulty for cracking the private keys through for generating primes that are not strong enough, such as generate, uh, generating a prime number of a particular family, a prime prime that generates a special range of difference. Even if the difference is large enough, indeed, the prime prime doesn't seem to have any problem at all, but will be unsafe after certain transformation. So now it is our a small conclusion. As far as I'm concerned, the problem, the problem comes from the lack of our, our understanding for the security principle of uh, ISA up to now. Its safety has not been proven mathematically yet, the question is, uh, what kind of primes are safer and how to evaluate them? So when we have no come up with a strict uh, mathematically judgment um, for this situation. And let's uh, see the demos. I will show two demos. In the first demo, I will show the mandatory inspection patch is added. So that the difference between the two prime numbers uh, output by the generator faction is in a fast security boundary, which allows us to set time complexity to achieve violating cracking. So first uh, we'll generate uh, a key pair. And then we will get a public key. After that, we kill the private key. And then we will try to crack uh, the private key very soon. Yeah, we can print the information of the public key and then we crack it. Yeah, it's uh, quite faster. So let's look at the second demo. In the second demo, it allows the generate faction to output, output the two primes that appear to be okay, but it will be became insecure after some transformation. In our case, uh, we can acquire one prime number P after one 
1826 the range of transformation. The same as the last one, we generate uh, a key pi. Yeah, we can crack here after a transformation. Yeah, it's quite faster and easy. It's uh, uh, it can be controlled. So as I said, uh, I, we think this kind of uh, battle can be used in supply att supply chain attack. Imagine that many of us may have uh, used the public key generator in the SSL in the SSL private key management, uh, such as um, Excel. If uh, the attacker um, succeeds in attacking the compiler environment of the target uh, software company, they, can, they could modify the generation algorithm of the key pie, which is hard to, to detect. So this is what the industry needs to review. And at last, uh, as uh, John number said, uh, the biggest problem with the network defense is that the defenders thinking lists uh, and attackers think uh, thinking graphics. Uh, as long as uh, this is true, attacks won, and there still exists uh, a lot of attack methods related to the cryptographic backdoors. So it's necessary fast pay more attention to the um, source, source code security and the cryptographic security. And I'll upload the code to GitHub after this meeting. So thanks for your listening.